Hi Felters and welcome my name is Philippa and in today's video I'm going to show you everything you need to know for wire armature and I'm going to try and do it in under five minutes let's get started <laughs> So first off, you don't have to use wire armature. This guy's made without any. Um, he stands up, he's quite strong, and I know several artists that don't use wire armature at all. But if you're gonna start, the first thing to use would probably be pipe cleaners. They're easy to buy and they're great for the wool to stick. They're a little bit flimsy, so I tend to double them over and then I will twist and that will make them a little bit stronger. And what we could do is first off use them just side the base and you could wrap the body around it so you get a nice simple shape or this guy his legs are done with pipe cleaners which have been attached to his main body so I took a slightly smaller piece twisted it and then we're going to cover it with wool and attach that to the body I like to use slithers carded wool in particular it's nice and thin and long perfect for wrapping legs so if you start at the top, start wrapping, keep it nice and flat and close to the leg and then felt it a little bit with a nice 36 needle. Go down past the end and then felt upwards and this will give you the end and then you would carry on wrapping and make it thicker. When you are neatening and finishing, I do use a smaller needle and I use it at 45 degrees, not at 90 degrees and it helps get a nice finish. This is one mil galvanized craft wire that I use all the time. I find it the best, it's strong enough. I use a pair of um, cutters and these are flat nose pliers or flat nose cutters. And the flat nose bit helps with getting the end of the foot, which we will do in a bit. It just helps because it's really tricky if you try and push it together yourself. But if you use them, you get a nice, neat end bit so that's why I like them this one I bought on Amazon is not galvanized and it's rubbish so do be careful and this is a paper covered wire from Heidi Feathers which helps as well but we will talk about wrapping the wool so I've cut a piece of wire probably about 36 inches and I'm going to make the frame very quickly for you I do this in a lot of my tutorials so do go and have a look through my videos uh, so we'll make the first leg bend over for the arch then go back down it doesn't matter if one is too long or too short then wrap it round once and do the length of the back and then do exactly the same at the other end and we are not going to do a head at all it makes life easier for wrapping for me personally but you might want to do a head as well so there we are we have the four legs which are done in two arches and then you would build up the body that little bit that's annoying just get a bit of white tape wrap it round and then it will all stay in place and it will disappear anyway once you've covered it. So if the leg is too long, just take some of the wire. These flat nose pliers are great. Bend it back and then you will get a nice, easy uh, bottom bit to cover. So I like to use um, a carded bat for doing the body. It's just a bit bigger and you wrap it round. Sometimes the wool slips. So to stop that from happening, easiest way is to take a pipe cleaner and wrap it round and round and round and that gives you and the wool something to grip onto. The other thing to use are floristry tape and they come in lots of colours. So you tear off the size you want and to activate it, it's slightly tacky, you just pull it and that makes it, the tackiness uh, come out, shall we say. And you wrap it round, it works so well and it sticks to itself and then you will wrap the wool onto that and it doesn't slip at all. This is all covered in my other videos and there you go, see how neat that is. If you haven't got any of that, use a bit of Pritt stick glue, put it on the wire and then wrap it round or this is the Maker's Beeswax Balm, similar sort of thing, scrape a bit out, warm it up in your hands, wrap the wool round and again it will stop it from slipping. This little guy, I've just done normal wool and then the hoof in a different colour at the bottom and I had the head attached on afterwards. It's very easy to do. This guy has got clay hooves and I will leave the end bit exposed and put the clay hooves on the bottom there and glue them on. With the horns, I attach them afterwards and I have a video on horns and the same with this guy. I attach them afterwards so it's a lot easier to do all your felting. And with this guy, he had a great big piece of wire. I wrapped it with lots of pipe cleaners 
and then I felted right into the middle to get the horns in. If you want to keep it simple, start with something like this, one of my PDFs, really simple pipe cleaner, that's all he's got. And then this one, he's another simple one, pipe cleaner horns and you can get a nice curl on them. He's got a super simple coat as well. And this one, one of my Highland cows, they're all in my Etsy shop, my PDFs. I will link them in the description below. So here's a few of my creations. It's really important that you just try wire armature and give it a go. There we go, felters, wire armature in five minutes. I do really think it's a good thing for you to try and it definitely makes my makes a lot stronger. I really think you shouldn't be scared of it. If you'd like to know a little bit more about wire armature, I'll link this video here. And also I have a video on problem solving issues that you might come up with with wire armature here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you again soon.